Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fisher. Welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 3. We are diving right back in with our England campaign, hopefully soon to be Britannia. I think this episode, our main goal is to take the whole of Mercia. We just need to get a claim on the duchy, which shouldn't be too hard. We're, we're murdering our archbishop uh, until we get a decent one, so we can hopefully get a good claim on the whole duchy, because as you can see, the duchy of Mercia is all of this, so we just get one duchy claim, we take all of this in one war is going to speed things up way way more than say if we do go ahead and try and conquer this one province at a time it, I mean obviously it's just going to do that as well as that I'm obviously going to be picking up a few territories here and maybe we'll start pushing into Scotland and trying to I mean actually I think a few of these are still my de jure titles anyway so we can fight a few wars uh, for that yeah we can, this is at least my de jure title so we can at least start pushing up into Scotland because we do need a handful of territories to form Britannia again if we take a look at it uh, we need 73 and we currently have 31. So we need to, to basically double and a bit the, the, the titles that we do have. Uh, we also do have a foothold in Ireland as well. So that should hopefully speed things up. So yeah, not too bad. And I'm actually really happy with uh, where this campaign is going at the moment. Because we're making so much money. We've got an extremely good stewardship uh Extremely good stewardship leader. 21 stewardship giving us 26% taxes on our domains. And we have 8 settlements as well. So absolutely mad. It's making 21 gold. And I think that's even without your yeah, wife isn't actually on anything. Currently she is... Uh, she's just assisting us if we stick on diplomacy that could be great uh, for the extra eight diplomacy as well uh, I think for the most part our vassals do like me, but there are a few who could definitely be improved uh, This guy right here the Duke of uh, Wherever this is up in the north. He does very much want to uh, yeah, have a seat on my title But unfortunately, he's not very good. I guess he could be my spy master, but we already have uh, the Duke of East Anglia as my spy master, so uh, yeah, there's that. So I guess we'll go to court politics with our wife. She'll she'll boost up our, our diplomacy to 19, 19, 21, 12, 11. Oh, I mean, that's a pretty solid character, if you ask me. We also had a son as well, Prince Andrew, who does have the robust skill, which I wish the previous Prince Andrew had, who died of uh, of uh, natural causes. He unfortunately did get the debuff health from the murder plot. And he was also ill at the time, you guys let me know. I totally didn't realise that. So because of that, yeah, we were in a, a pretty sticky situation. We just got unlucky and died. If we would have had you know, any of the uh, Robust or Hale or, or even Herculean, or definitely Herculean, we probably would have been able to outlast that. And that would have been a good thing because that first Prince Andrew was uh, yeah, pretty good indeed. So we currently are uh, trying to woo our wife, make sure she no longer cheats on us. Uh, you guys did also tell me that I should probably start, you know, investigating my children as well. Start role-playing a bit more with my character, and I, I definitely will do that. I'll take your advice on board, and I won't just be, like, clicking away a lot of these events. I will be trying my best to, uh, yeah, to look into more of them uh, and kind of, you know, mess around more about. So we have a pretty good chance of killing our Archbishop. Hopefully we get a good one uh, with a 90, what, 94% chance, which is basically max of killing him. Uh, we also have a good one on our wife as well. Um, so we just have to hope. We just have to hope we get a good Archbishop. I'm surprised we can't uh, declare war for more of this land. Oh, he actually has a claim on Mercia. Uh, so we've got two murder plots. Obviously, our first one will be to kill our Archbishop. He actually does have a claim on the whole of Mercia. Right? Oh, okay. So we don't actually need to kill our Archbishop. Yeah, he actually has it. We're probably just going to press his claim then. Um, I mean, he obviously already owns uh, he owns a lot of territory down there. I think he is already the... Uh, he's only Earl of Sussex. He's not the Duke of Sussex. So... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just press his claim, take all of this, and we'll just have to take this in a, in a minor war. Cool, awesome. We don't even need to murder our archbishop, which we just did. So, uh, when our queen uh, suggested a hunt, I did not hesitate to organize one. I would do anything for a more glimpse, of, for a mere glimpse of my rose. I am uh, stalking through the underbrush, my page at my heel, my hound just ahead. It seems as if I have found the trail. Then suddenly, my concentration is shattered by a woman screaming, oh no. Oh no, um, perhaps it should, yeah, I'm coming for you, my love, I will be there. Uh, so yeah, we should definitely do that. And unfortunately he did, oh no, L luckily he did die, uh, so I'll take that. Uh, oh, oh my god, so we do fall in love. So within the, within what must have been a minute, but felt like an hour, I reached my wife in, on the ground before me. Be heveled and weaponless. Be heaven? Is that how you pronounce that? Opposite her it was just a, a huge boar. My arrow strike two and the boar fell. Nice. I need you, my love. A one sweet quisk is my only reward. Uh, let's, uh, let's become soulmates for sure. 
So nice, we're now soulmates with our wife. That means she should basically not cheat on me anymore, um, which is perfect. And hopefully, God, I can't believe our son only got robust when I am intelligent and she is Amazonian. That's a real shame. That really is. That would have been juicy to pick up. Um, really weird. So I guess now, oh, a feast going on. Where are you? Feast, uh, yeah, sure. I will attend. I will attend. Also, look at our money. That's actually ridiculous how much cash we have. Um, until we can invest in stuff like this, I guess there's just no point um, in doing it. Yeah, we're just making so much. And I have noticed that you can really pump cash in this game to no end. And just basically upgrade everything. Oh, we should definitely start building some more, uh, more of these buildings as well. So we should probably get another castle. They're both farmlands. Yeah, we could get another castle. Do we have any better places here? Just uh, normal plains. And then up here we have... Wood, so another wood fortress would be pretty good. Sorry, I'm just clicking them events, but I'm trying to look at something. Yeah, let's build. Uh, so that was a good piece. Sorry, I didn't click look at any of them events. Let's put another castle up in Colchester along the woodland area, just around our capital. That will give us a bit more protection if anyone invades from the sea. But I have to go through that castle as well. So let's do that. Uh, who the hell am I marrying? My daughter to him, who's under a peasant leader. Oh, he's the Carling I was gonna marry. No, definitely not. I want to, can I break this? Oh, they're betrothed still. Let's break this betrothal. No, no way. That's for Carling. He's now a priest under the, uh, the Umiad Rebellion. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, she does have her lover's pox, which isn't good, but let's break this, uh, break this betrothal. Hopefully she, she loses her, her lover's pox. Um, man, that's wild. That is actually wild. And she has a son now, so let's try and marry into the future king, uh, with my, my diseased wife. Let's do that. <laughs> I know she, she'll probably gonna be like 80 by the time she comes of age, but maybe then she can she can get on the throne of West Frankia and start giving me some bonuses. It does seem like Lothringia though are gonna be our primary uh, primary setup, and I guess I will. Unfortunately, I don't have any more daughters to marry into, uh, which is a real shame. Uh, maybe we'll have a daughter. Maybe our wife will get pregnant, and we can go on from there. We could also try to romance our wife. No, we can't anymore. What's the G, sir? Oh, we're already soulmates, so we can't. Yeah, hopefully she just bear me a few more children, a few more daughters, so we can marry off into the uh, into the other royal families to really try and just boost this renowned up as quickly and, uh, and as fast as I can. Uh, we also only do only have ten living members as well, so I definitely do need to assign myself uh, some more stuff. Oh, a seventeen. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, I'm probably gonna keep my yeah. Instead of pressing that guy's claim, I'm probably gonna keep uh, or at least. Roll the dice and hope my Archbishop can get a duchy claim because uh, he won his 17 learning, which will give us a pretty good chance of gaining one. And then that way I can give it to my, uh, I can give a bunch of his territory to my, my family and really start to pump up the, the dynasty members that I do have. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that indeed. Um, yeah, no, my heart is to my wife. How dare you? I have fallen in love with my, my wife. We are soulmates. How dare you? Uh, and she's also just now as well. Uh, so again, let's get our son educated early. I guess we can just educate our son uh, for now. We still just have so much money. Uh, it's actually ridiculous. I guess we will just be waiting to see you know, what we can upgrade. Obviously, as I said, I do really want to be able to build the Tower of London, but we do need the battlements to do so. Because as soon as we get this, obviously once London gets a basically a double fort level and more than double fort level and also a bigger garrison... Uh, and that dread gain as well is pretty juicy. Uh, not going to lie. Uh, is there anything else can see? Yeah, and we obviously can't build any of these yet either. So I think probably getting a military academy would be nice. Giving us more knights, more knight efficiency. Uh, that's pretty juicy. Uh, as well as that, the royal academy is pretty... Or royal armory is pretty good. If you hold like the entire duchy, that's actually pretty insane. Uh, this is... The jousting grounds is nice as well. Making my, my dudes cheaper. Either of the jousting or blacksmith is pretty good. Um, tax office is amazing as well, just way more money. Not that money is really anything difficult to come by. So I guess professional workforce could be pretty good, or we just continue to go down this route um, of making people like us a bit more. Uh, sure, yeah, let's just go down this route to finish this tree. That's probably not a bad idea. Get that sorted uh, as, as soon as, as physically possible. Now, are there any good marriages to be had? I mean, obviously... We're not really looking for many alliances. Um, I guess we are looking for more more traits, really, than alliances with my firstborn son, because that's going to be the uh, the line of dynasty that we are going to be uh, be looking for. Uh, let's also go deal with this woman now as well. 
Uh, we're just going to, uh, to draw a claim or do we holy war for it so I can give it to someone else? I think we holy war for it. Let's do that. Let's uh, raise the army. All the boys up there are 6,000 men. I mean, it should be an extremely, extremely... Uh... Is this in my land? No, it's not good. I always get a little bit a little bit scared whenever I see the uh, the spread of foreign religion in my land. I mean, we really shouldn't need any men whatsoever. Unlucky that time. I mean, I guess we can we can try a couple more times to try and get that claim because he's 17 learning, right? It shouldn't be too difficult to get that duchy claim. And if worse comes to worse, we can just press our our dude's claim down here in the south. Man, the music, <laughs> the music. Is absolutely spectacular. And a crusade, another crusade. Uh, this, this time it's for Jerusalem. Okay, well, we can go on crusade for Jerusalem. Absolutely. Uh, we do have some dynasty members, of course. Plenty of dynasty members. Uh, a few cousins. You're just of my dynasty, so you must be like a distant, distant cousin. Let's do that. Sure, you can be it. You're kind of young. New culture joined the medieval era. Congratulations. I think mean, we're just joining the medieval era now. So I do want to marry off. Yeah, I've married a few of my daughters. Who will hopefully, yeah. Oh my god, if if we'll, we'll inbreed with her for sure. Um, if she has some good children, because she's a genius and he's Herculean and uh, for, she his really high fert, uh, fertility as well. So hopefully they'll have some children. We haven't had any yet, but if they have some good children, we'll definitely inbreed with them. A rogue servant. A lowly neeper has uh, been stealing from my household. Man cowers before me. Uh, we gain some dread, gain a little bit of money, lose a piety. And I kill him. Ah, uh, we could gain... I mean, the hook's pretty pointless. So we just imprison him. I don't really need... And he would like me a little bit more, but he's kind of a nobody. He has decent intrigue, but... Uh, sure, he, off, uh, I want the piety, but let's just imprison him. He can, he can suffer in my dungeon. Um, so yeah, we have to get ready for Crusade, which is going to be pretty good. I might leave my army raised in my capital just now, though. A shameful truth has reached the Miles about the, the Earl. Has been sleeping with this poor woman who has uh, pneumonia. And she's pregnant. I can't imagine uh, she's going to uh, do too well. Well, yeah, of course. You have to go to my prison. I don't want to lose my, my level of devotion. Uh, so, yeah, as I said, I, I might just bring my army to London. Let it get gain up supplies. Get up to that 200 supply limit. And just kind of go from there. Because this war's already won, which is perfect. We'll enforce our demands. Boom, boom, boom. So that's just another bit of territory we've taken. Yeah, so let's just bring our army to London. Obviously, the Crusade's going to take a little while, but we still make seven gold with our army raised. How crazy is that? Nice. She's uh, doing some good stuff. So we're actually heavily outnumbered uh, by, the, uh, by the Muslims. Unfortunately, uh, they, do, they are just very strong. The Abbasids are having a great game so far. Conquering a large amount of territory. Um, so hopefully we can raise enough men. I don't know. Generally these crusades do, don't go too well against the Abbasids. That's why I really like. We could try and redirect it though. But I don't think we have enough faith, right? It's a thousand piety to redirect. 500. Oh, we could. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll go for Spain again. Because I, I don't think we can kill the Abbasids. Like, I think they're just too strong for us. We also go for East Francia as well. Is East Francia not? I guess it's the Isles. Yeah, it's the Isles. Um, yeah, I do like the idea of being able to, like, direct it. It would be kind of cool if you could, like, partition the Pope. Could try for, like, Poland and go to a nice little war over here. Like, that's a big, big chunk of territory we could try and, uh, assemble. Land down there. Hmm. So maybe we do go for, like, Poland and just try and, like, consolidate a decent rule out here. And that could, that could probably do a good job of protecting this. So look at Bohemia as well. Bohemia's looking, uh, very good. What else have we got? I mean, there's so many. Albia, we can go up to the north and conquer that. Ireland is, is a thing as well. Bohemia is a thing. Uh, we could also maybe do it against... I, I think we can go for Poland. Let's redirect this against the uh, the heathens to the east. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. There's probably going to be plenty of them. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of titles here, right? It's all going to be all these guys joining. So uh, let's, let's redirect it. I think it costs us 500 piety, which I think is relatively cheap. Uh, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Because if I could put my dude on the, uh, the throne, and we're also getting married now as well. Um, I can't get him married because he's somewhere else. Oh, he'll marry by himself first. So that's fine. Yeah, and he, I mean, he's not really the best character, but he'll do his own. There's no one else I can really replace him with right besides this guy, who's a little bit older. 
Oh, that's his father. Well, I guess we could do him then, because he is much better intrigue, so he might be able to keep the, uh, the realm together for a little bit longer. So again, still outnumbered. Uh, actually, no, we outnumbered them slightly, and it's a bit of an easier, easier travel. And look at that, Aquitaine has pumped back out. He is of a foreign religion, uh, unfortunately, though. Uh, we'll have to deal with him at some point in the future, that's for sure. So we're just leaving our men here, basically just trying to gather up supplies as best as we can. We have a very good advantage-based general. Uh, so let's give this away to someone as well. I do need to start giving it away to like my daughters and stuff, I think. I just have my son. Nah, unfortunately, oh, yeah, you can't give titles to, to women, can you, at this period, unless you change the, uh, the religious law. Uh, so do you have anyone of really high stats that I would love to uh, to keep around? He's Bavarian, but he is Catholic, which I guess is good. I guess we need a, a good... A good Saxon man, really. Sure, you're not really the best, but... Uh, I guess I can give it to someone up here as well. Just give you, like, the two titles up here. Sure, let's do that. Let's grant him another title. You've served me well, good sir. You will provide more men to my cause. And we also now have 6,000 men here as well. We still, we are still getting supplies perfect. So as soon as this crusade fails fire, which is pretty soon, right? Um, yeah, crusade fires in four months. We can, we, we can immediately start moving now if we wanted to. Uh, probably going to sort of chill though. Um, stop trying to, to assault me. Yeah, no. Stop. Stop. I'm in love with my wife. Please give me a moment. Give me a moment for pity's sake. So who's joined? Who has joined our side now? Um, so obviously me. Uh, we got a few Jukes. Yeah, I wish like Lothringia and like the bigger like fraction like factions would just join. I don't really get why they they wouldn't. And it's kind of annoying they don't. It makes the Crusades uh, way way harder to win or much easier to win uh, as a player because I can just I can just easily get more war score because I have way more men than anyone else could possibly hope for. Um, that kind of sucks. It's not really the best one. That's not the one we want. Uh, but hey, it's what it is. Can't always get the, you can't always get the best military traits 24-7. Uh, so it's fine. I am a big fan of Lothringia, though, sticking together. I have not seen them do this for a while. And yeah, I'd love to marry that heir. I just need my wife to provide me with a new son. Uh, which hopefully she will do. She does like me a lot as well. I mean, my, my character is amazing right now. Really good stats. Let's just go up to four speed. Now we have plenty of money as well if we ever do. Oh, come on. Come on. You're 17 learning. All right, let's go. Let's get the boys over here. So is anyone... Like, yeah, literally none of these guys are even supporting us, really. We basically have to kind of wait maybe a little bit longer just for the Pope to get his men. Because he's going to probably go... Is he going to march? Oh, just like the Pope is going to march north. Um, which is fine, I guess. We can, we can, uh, well, we will sail, obviously, but we need to wait for the Pope to go over here so that we aren't going to be severely outnumbered by them all. Because the Pope is amassing by Venice, and he's, he's probably going to just push north. So, I mean, let's just, I mean, again, we don't want to waste our supplies. We have 200 supplies, which is very nice. The Earl is uh, helping us out there. So, let's, let's get across now. Let's get across now, see what we can do. Let's maybe get to, like, Anholt uh, in Saxony, and then we'll move on. Uh, we also did lose. Oh, yeah, we're over our limit by one. I mean, being over our limit isn't too bad, but that's what opinion does hurt. So let's, uh, let's give this guy another bit of territory. Let's give him Devon. That way, he just kind of has that, you know, we can then make him the Duke of Cornwall and just kind of go from there. Without too much of a, uh, a problem. Okay, so in total, we have 18,000. We have 21,000. So things are probably looking pretty good. We are at war with a large amount of the, uh, of the enemy, though, which is kind of cool. That's a decent crusade. But yeah, look at that. Look, like, look at that. Cru if I wasn't involved in this crusade, there's no one there. It's like a, a couple jukes, and that's it for a crusade. Come on. I want to see more than that. Uh, cool. So we are losing supplies. It'd be great and oh, nice as well. He's a logistician as well. So you basically half the amount of supplies that we're using, uh, which is just perfect. Let's make our way down. We obviously don't want to really engage like these 7,000 men. We want to wait for the Pope to really arrive. Uh, but we will we'll maybe start just sieging here. Oh, I keep on forgetting to pick up 
uh, the next... Oh, we don't have the regiment, regiment do we, right? Until um, until we grab, like, mustering ground, which we're going to do in 11 years. Maybe I'll focus this and get it done sooner. Six years, it doesn't really help out too much. I definitely have found as well, but it's, it's generally better. If you have one that is... Uh, which you're, like, already half fascinated with, so you can see if I hover over this... Because we're exposed religion with uh, with Sardinian, uh, we're gaining a 40% boost. It's generally better to let these ones go by themselves and focus on something else which you're not uh, expo have exposure to. Because you just end up researching. Like, it just makes sense. It's, you'll, you'll get a much greater percentage boost if you do something else and have this on the side than if I was to focus this um, down. Which obviously makes a ton of sense. Uh, yeah, so we'll just keep on sieging. Uh, nice, our wife is pregnant. Please give me a please give me a, a girl so then I can marry. Oh, he's currently the king as well. I guess his father must have died. Oh, oh God, he was uh yeah, he died of asphyxiation. Oh God, that's not good. Yeah, we want to try and marry him ASAP. Um, and if he if we don't marry him, we want to try and marry. Oh, there are two kingdoms. It's East Francia and Lothringia. Okay, interesting. Well, we can try and marry both. Give me twins. Give me twin girls, and we'll go from there. Oh my God, still not a claim. That's uh. Yeah, pretty annoying, actually. We still have not got a claim. We are fighting, but... Oh, my God. That's a big battle as well. They're getting slaughtered. I won't get there in time either. I did not realize they were going to push themselves that deep. I mean, I mean we'd take hundreds of men. Like, we'd literally lose our army pushing through there. God damn it, Pope. You, uh, yeah, did not fare too well there. Uh, we probably need to get our forces down to the south, though, so we'll, we'll, we'll siege this and then we'll march down south just so that we're at least in position to help the Pope out when he uh, when he does come back with a a future a future force. But that was a bad battle for us. We could also pick up some uh, with a son. Oh, and he's so good. He's Herculean and he's quick. Uh, maybe this son is going to have to be disinherited because our other son is so good. Herculean, huge health boost, prowess plus eight. He's really got better prowess than I. He literally has the same prowess and he's a newborn baby. Uh, yeah, we might have to disinherit him. Uh, I think I'll name him something else, thank you very much. Something weird name. Uh, what do we have? A nice English name. A nice kingly name. Michael is actually pretty kingly. Matthew's also pretty kingly as well, so let's do that. Uh, so let's get our army down south ASAP um, because I don't think they're going to be like, that's a lot of soldiers there. We've got a few sieges, which is good up here, um, but nothing too obviously useful. We basically, just need to unify as best as we can. Um, and I also need to be very careful as well not to overextend. My supplies are dwindling. What happened to our 200 supply boost? We're now down to, to nowhere near that. Obviously, I have to keep a good eye on where their armies are as well. Make sure I don't stray too far away from the Pope. I guess I don't really want to go up here, right? Oh, no, we can go up here. Perfectly fine, yeah. Well, I'll stay with the Pope because my 7,000 men will be a, a huge, huge boost to them. And then we're just going to probably assault this section of them. Yeah, we're going to have another big battle. We're going to get stuck in. Yeah, they're coming in as well. Holy crap, let's go. If we can hold here, they should be crossing the river against us. Okay, we got a battle. Let's slow things up now. And the Pope is going to let me die, right? Oh, we don't even have that many men here. This is going to be a slaughter. I thought we had way more men here. Yeah, the Pope is, uh, has nothing anymore. Like, because it was all the armies. He's got 3,000 there, okay. We should probably just try and retreat out of here. Even if they do, are taking a river crossing. Yeah, we should definitely just try and retreat if we can. Can we not? Is there not? Do we not just click to retreat? To withdraw? No, we can't. Where's the withdrawal? I swear there's a withdrawal button here somewhere. Yeah, we're getting massacred. This crusade has failed for sure. Even with any reinforcements that do come in, there is no hope whatsoever. Yeah. I thought they'd be taking a river crossing bonus as well, because they are crossing this river, right? But it doesn't really seem like they're taking any negatives. Maybe he's... Yeah, he's a forward, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, we got smashed there. I think this crusade is pretty boned after they lost that initial battle. We can still stick around, though, and try and help out. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, not a good battle. We have 17,000 men now. Yeah, I mean, it'd be great if, if, if the Frank here would help out and a few others would actually help, but it doesn't seem like they are. Right, let's make sure that we are the tutor here as well. Until I get a bit more powerful, then it's just not going to happen. 
Um, so yeah, we'll fall back. We need to obviously rebuild our army. We lost a bunch of amazing counselors as well. Maybe I'll just leave the army so I can get recruits aid trait as well. But not really do much. We only have 500 men left, my god. We need to probably just disband, actually, to be honest. Uh, this crusade seems pretty boned. Yeah, I'm just going to disband my army, actually. Um, and we need, we need to rebuild. Uh, and we just need to focus on conquering England. Because until, unless, like, unless the big boys are going to join, we need to focus on conquering Britannia so that we can solo win these, these crusades. I do like how they're very difficult, though, uh, when you're fighting against powerful nations. But imagine fighting against the Avacids. They would have slaughtered us on that crusade. They really, really would have. Um, it would not have even have been funny. God, we just need some daughters. There's loads of eligible male uh, male uh, kings and emperors to be married. We just don't have any. We could also just spam mercenaries to try and win this. We have the money to do so. Uh, honestly, we, we literally could. Uh, but I probably should have done that beforehand. So let's 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 give up this holy war for now. We can maybe come back to it if it hasn't been won or lost uh, by that time. I think what we need to do um, is also go ahead. Who are you? Oh, she's an adulterer, my cousin. That's fine. You're not married, Manchester so who cares? Um, it's not really part of my dynasty, so I don't really mind too much. Yeah, let's speed things up as well. Because, yeah, I think this crusade... We, like, the crusade might continue on for us to get all our men back. Uh, so, it's you know, it is what it is. Uh, we obviously also need to change our dude here to organize the levies. We need our men back ASAP. If we were to be attacked, though, we could just spam mercenaries and it would be fine. Uh, we just have to hope that the, uh, the Holy War either continues on long enough for us to, to survive. God, he still has not got us a claim. Let's reset it. Let's, let's reset it because maybe... Maybe he's just getting unlucky or something. Let's fabricate a claim on a different province. Because he has a pretty good chance on the claim on the duchy. And there's no negative side effects. I've never seen him, like, struggle this much. I mean, it's not easy to get it, but... We just inherited somewhere else as well. Warham, did we just inherit? Oh, no. Our new castle here. Uh, we'll grant this to a lower noble for sure. Hopefully, he can upgrade that. Do we need any more? I guess we can continue to spend our money. We have so much of it that I am a, a, an ultimately rich king. Uh, nice, we actually gain more money as well from being stressed, so it might not be a bad idea to actually start building up that stress and not reducing it down through hunts and feasts. We can also extort our subjects if we ever do need money, uh, which is honestly not a bad idea. I mean, already, we, I mean, we can have up to 7,000 men. The Pope is still getting stuck in, but they're just so severely outnumbered. They just really do not stand a chance. Like, that first battle, I guess I should have joined them. Uh, that was my, my bad, my bad, knowing that the Pope is not the strongest in the world. Come on, wife, give me some more children, please. I need them. Can we still declare war for the dude's title? We can. So we can still take most of Mercia. Maybe we should just do it. And then we're going to take two more up. I'll, I'll give my uh, I'll give my uh, my Archbishop two more attempts, I think. And then we'll probably also fight Albia as well once we get a few more men back. Nice, she's pregnant. Give me, give me twin daughters so I can marry off into East Francia and into Lothringia. That would be the dream. Also, the Duke of Aquitaine is now fighting. We could try and maybe gain some titles down here as well. You know, obviously taking uh, the South Aquitaine would be good. So we have one more chance to, to get that claim, Archbishop. Do not miss your chance to blow. You're making 27 gold a month. That is actually disgusting. Actually disgusting for this early on in the game. Should we improve the smithy? We give us some army masons down and holding taxes. A great mason workshop, which will give us... Uh, way more cheaper building. Where is this as well? Is this in... That's nowhere to, for me to really care. Uh, let's just get give us maybe. Why not? Give us some cheaper men. And um, we have so much money as well. Can we raise these up? We can't. Yeah, we need to... We need, really need to pick up that. We really need to pick up this up. Mustering grounds up, honestly. Because that gives us more sizable regiments of renown. Uh, which would severely increase our, our fighting capability. Because we would gain... What, another regiment of renown? So we would basically gain 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 800 men just from these guys. Uh, from increasing them up to 500. And on top of that, we would also gain an extra 500 men. So that'd be pretty huge. Another son! Oh, you're amazing as well. The annoying thing is, though... Um, oh, did he die? Cradle of Death? Did she die? Oh, she died! My wife died! No, in childbirth. Oh, no. Um, that's not good. I mean, it is fine. 
But now we have three sons, and I really didn't want what I didn't really want any of them. Um, so I guess actually about that third son is looking the best, right? Because he's quite intelligent and Herculean. So now Prince a Andrew uh, is the way is the way forward. Uh, maybe I can get these sons to die in battle. We'll have to see. I am also now unmarried. I don't really want to marry anyone. No, but we need daughters so I can marry off. Uh, what do we do? I guess, I guess, I guess. Cause I don't want to just have like 60 more sons and then have some really bad succession stuff. We're, you know, right here we're going to be losing. Apparently we lose the King of England. Oh, no, that's a different succession. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we keep all of this. We just lose a few of these earldoms, which again, I don't really want to do. Uh, so maybe we do change our succession law now. Maybe this is a situation where we do change our succession law. I'm not sure though. Because if we change our succession law, we could definitely, definitely keep all our land, which is pretty good. And then pick our good son. Uh, we're going to wait. We're going to wait until they, they come of age. Uh, if I die beforehand, I die beforehand. It kind of just sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Um, how are we looking as well in this war? 21,000 against our 7,000. 6,000 of their men are mine. Yeah, there's no. This is a failed crusade. If I do say so myself. Uh, so you have one more chance to grab that. Let's go to war with Albia. Um, we have some allies. And we have 8,000 men. Maybe not quite yet then. So we're going to grab this up soon. Which goes holding taxes plus 15% to stewardship. That's actually just disgusting. Like, I guess we will go to war with the... Uh, it kind of just feels so bad. Oh my god, look at him. Look at this dude. That's hilarious. Uh, as I said, we also do need a wife as well. Yeah, we do need a wife. Um, anyone who has land at all? We have a few landed guys there. I guess we'd probably want uh, traits though, right? Um, I guess like genius would just be good to pick up. And they're kind of old as well, so they're probably only... Yeah, let's, let's marry this 40-year-old genius or this 30-year-old genius. Because chances are she'll give me like one child. Uh, and then she won't give me any more. So we'll lose a bit of prestige. But let's marry into her. Um, we'll keep, we'll get genius, like maybe in our next son or something. Um, and then that wouldn't be too bad. A secret I'm exposed. The Duke down here has been uh, sleeping away. Of course he has. Of course he has. We're also pretty close to uh, getting a thousand points. But I think I'm going to save maybe for a chance to reinforce traits up. Or we could start going down House of Warriors. Or we could start going down this route for more fertility and then better education. Honestly, I think going down better education is probably a good idea. I might go down kin. Let me know in the comments, because I doubt I'll get it by the time I finish. What do you guys think? I oh my god, he's failed again. Right, screw it. We're just gonna we're gonna press our own claim, I think. Uh, we'll be able to do this claim. Let's do it. Let's do that now. Now they only have 5,000 men. Oh, we're in the holy war. If the holy war ends before we win our war, the our war will end. Uh yeah, screw it, let's do it. We just have to make sure we win this war fast enough. Raise the men. Make sure we smash them kind of quickly. And we obviously also have plenty of money for mercenaries if we if we need that at all. Our banners is almost done, which is perfect. So I think what I might do is I might try and rush battlements. So that we can get the Tower of London up and running quickly. There's their men. God, everyone is uh, yeah, it's sleeping with everyone. With Shishi as his wife, right? Yeah, no, it's not his wife. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I can't really go and fight this army quite yet. We have a pretty poor commander. But our knights are extremely bad at the moment. Let's, uh, let's invite some more into our... Into our realm. So let's go here, invite more knights. Hopefully we'll get some good ones. Alerting the deal... So we can increase his taxes. I don't really like to increase people's taxes though, because that public order here is, is pretty bad. I could just convince him. But I'd prefer his loyalty, honestly. I mean, he's kind of a nobody. He's just an L. Right, but the deal has been altered. Pray I do not do it again. I'd rather just his loyalty, honestly. Uh, we're not crossing a river or anything, no. And they're running. Uh, we should hopefully be able to catch them. Yeah, we haven't, as I say, I haven't really got the best commander. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, he's got good prowess, so it's going to help out our army if we recruit him. But we, we still need good command, like martial leaders as well. Luckily, the battle is pretty uh, pretty easily won. We just have way more men. And we don't really have any allies either. So I guess we'll just start you know, making our way towards this capital. Sieging as we go. Oh, you also have 700 men up here as well. Which I guess could just be... Oh, God. Avoid fighting them, please. Whoever you are, raiding me. That should be enough to siege this. Yeah, we'll just, just siege some land in the north. No? You're not going to siege me some land in the north? Leave shy there. God, he still failed to get me. Okay, let's move him back as well. Because we want to form that holy order. As soon as we're out of our wars, we do want to form some holy orders. So, okay, do not get do not get caught by them, please. Let's meet up with the rest of the boys. They are chasing me, though, to the ends of the earth. They're not going to catch me, though. And then what are they going to do? You want to want to fight my main stack? Bring it on. So we're going fight. We are going to be crossing the river, but we are a forder, so we should ignore this river crossing bit, uh, penalty. Hit them hard. We made the enemy commander. Perfect. It's going to reduce his prowess on the battlefield. Our duke, though, was killed. No! Such is way of life, though. Such is the way of life. And the nice thing is here as well, we are setting up a pretty good defense. Oh, the crusade, I think, has just gone back down. We're outnumbered so heavily, though. Yeah, maybe it's about 20k stack. We can't really do much about. We need holy orders for sure. So to form a holy order, I think we just need to be at peace and the Pope like us. And we need to be up at level 3, yeah. We were going to form one with the last king, but obviously he died at 35 before we could. Which was a real shame, because that would have been so juicy to get the Knights Templar up and running this early on. You know, it's an extra 1,600 men, or I think it's close to 2,000 men, which we can basically hire for free. That would have been invaluable. It really would have been. Um, I guess we should just be building more. Let's put a church over here. Because churches do provide... Oh, we can't build churches yet. So it's just castles, really. Uh, I guess we'll go down the building tree. Extra 30%. Um, we just have farmland here. Ideally, I'd probably want to just build... I'd probably just want to build cities here. Which we obviously can't do yet. Because we don't have a city planner. We really don't have city planner yet. I guess one of the first ones, right? Yeah, we don't. Which we really desperately need. But then again, there are some, like, if I get this, I can press the Jura claims. That would help me conquer England so much quicker. Obviously, we have the armored uh, men-at-arms Huskel units as well, which are great. Obviously, Battlements allows us to do some stuff. We probably need a good learner character just to pump through some tech at some point. Let's go after this as well. Do we have a, uh... I'm not sure if we do or not, but do we have a court position? We do, good. I generally recommend finding your own court position and going for the uh, the event court position because I've noticed a lot of the time, a lot, a lot, a lot of the time, the court positions you get from that event are like uh, like are like 70 years old and they just end up dying so then you, you don't end up having a court position for very long and it gets kind of annoying. Uh, so we're at 68% now. I guess we could just send this army down to, to attack whilst we're sieging. We are also at very low on supplies as well here. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, we have split our army as well, so it should be okay. This is going to be a close battle, probably because we're out of supplies. But I'm just trying to grab up as much war score as I can. And yeah, we are actually attritioning right now. <laughs> but as soon as we take some land, we'll, we'll be okay. Because uh, we'll be able to resupply here. Yeah, we'll get 20 back there. And as soon as we take this, we'll be at 20 uh, as well. Getting that supply back. So nice, that's going to be the whole of Mercia conquered. And we actually win the war as well. Perfect. Boom, 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 boom. As I said, I would love to have had it so that... Uh, but I could have given some of my, my family members this. But hey, I'll take it nonetheless. That's pretty good. And we did lose a crusade as well. Perfect timing as well, because I'm pretty sure if we would have lost the crusade, uh, we would have our war would have been white pieced out for whatever reason. I can't... I don't really know the, the reasoning behind it, but I'm pretty sure that is the way. And yeah, that's going to mess us up. Well, I thought Poland was going to be an easy target. But yeah, when West Francia and East Francia don't join, and Lothringia doesn't join, then yeah, we kind of get screwed. Not going to lie. Oh yeah, also as well, we should probably set our wife to do something uh, important. Um, oh yeah, let's do that. Let's boost up our learning. Definitely let's boost up our learning, because not only will that help educate people, but now we have 21 learning. 
Um, that's going to be huge, actually. So we get honest, deceitful, humble. Uh, honest is a virtue, so sure, why not? Gives us some diplomacy. Reduces our intrigue by a lot, but... I never really uh, am too good at playing at intrigue, guys. Oh my god, we have so much money. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, let's start upgrading this place. We can literally just invest in whatever we want. Like, massive. And all this stuff is actually pretty cheap as well. And doesn't take long to build. I wish, I wish, wish, wish we would have... Uh, Oh, we did manage to complete that as well. Nice, we did. Uh, so what do we want? Do we want to start going down that? I mean, City Planner is just kind of good because then we can grab up... It'll take us 14 years for City Planner. Or we could start working on Domain Limit, CB, Development Growth. Uh, this is going to be done as well pretty soon. So we'll get the extra men in 20 months. I think we have to go City Planner, honestly. Um, because then I can spend all this money we're getting on buildings and on cities and churches. Churches generally give you a ton of extra cash. So we can just basically start investing in. And we don't have to necessarily uh, not invest in. Like, we can invest in stuff like this as well with our money if we want to. We should need a new steward as well. Do we have a good one? Uh, not really any good ones, but sure. The, uh, the uh, Duke of Kent could be my steward. And I guess you can develop. It takes you five years to boost the development by one, but it's not worth it. it. really isn't. So yeah, I think we'll get City Planner and then we'll go Battlements. Uh, so we can build basically everything we need. Yeah, we can build basically all the military uh, duchy buildings. Get them going early on. Um, yeah, it seems like a good idea. And we still own plenty of territory. We're earning so much money. Don't really know what to do with it. Can lawful imprison just some random person. Generally, I don't care about stuff like that. I can demand a payment for my hook that I have on him. The Duke of Mercia. Yeah, I mean, I did just fight all your bloody wars for you. And you want some more territory? What do you want? Probably this guy, right? Yeah, you want these other dukes. Which I'm sure I can give you. Let's just transfer. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the one he wants. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Just, I mean, the Duke of Mercia is ultra strong in the kingdom. It's generally pretty scary having, like, one really strong duke. But it's fine. I'm sure I, if I choose... I'm already choosing two of my sons as well. I was going to say, if I choose her as son, I gain a hook on him early on as well, which isn't too bad. Uh, God damn, she has 21 marshal. You're in the wrong line of business, my gal. Uh, and then he also has some. Luckily, we don't have to give the, uh, the Duke of Mercia anything. My wife is pregnant. Please be a daughter. Please, please, please be a daughter. Let's get up the centralization for more development growth in the capital. But yeah, I mean, look at England. We're looking pretty good so far. 7,000 men are... And he's going to get a good education. He's already going down the stewardship route. I guess that's, that's fine. Probably going to have to disinherit a few of my sons as well. Um, or maybe we just go elective. Again, let me know what you guys think. Do we go elective? Let me know in the comments. If I should go elective. Um, and just... That actually sort out a lot of my claims. And I don't have to worry about losing all my titles. Maybe that is something that we will, we do do. Becomes greedy, generous. Generous is okay. Lustful isn't bad either. Uh, but he's like super rich. So, sure, let's grab greedy. 15% monthly income. I wish we were we greedy. No, I wish we were though. I think we had a chance to get it, but we went with temperate instead. Which doesn't see is not bad. I too cheer for my knights. Every knight gains bonuses. We gain some more prestige. Uh, we'll, we'll cheer for our knights in our tournament. Not my pregnant wife who would so desire to to have the love and affection, but no, no, no. So I guess we will go to war with the English, or uh, with uh, the Scottish. Uh, oh, give me a son. Of course he did. And he's not even a genius as well. God damn it. Go King John. Damn. That sucks. So we have enough now, but we're probably going to have to disinherit some children. Uh, rather than save up, which is going to cost us a ton. But, you know, unless we go to it, just, we just go to elective. But I think to go for elective, we have to make it. Um, ooh, increases taxes, maybe? He's also Anglo-Saxon, which is nice. He's just a foreign religion. Yeah, screw you. You're a different religion. We will raise your taxes. You can convert if you want to. Ten years to convert now. Probably worth it. Seven in the north. Let's do that. Seven years, is honestly, is not too bad. Craven. Oh, my God. They're all so bad. Sure, you can be a Craven son. You're definitely... This is this is the son... I, this is the only son I have hopes for. Uh, and we will educate him as well. Now, we'll go down his military training. 
Yeah, he's intelligent and Herculean. You're the son I will put all my eggs in. Uh, do I need to get rid of someone to... Let's, uh, let's let someone else educate you. Yeah, let's let someone else educate you. High, high uh, Marshal. What does he have? He has, he has really good prowess, though. God, I still don't know what's, like, the best... I still don't know what, like, the best trait is. Is it, like, someone with good, like, who's the best to educate? No one really gave me a good answer for it. Is it someone with, like, the highest marshal or the highest stat I want to boost it? Is someone with the best, like, brilliant strategist? Is that going to help out educate? Is it someone with, I, don't, I just don't know. Is, like, a genius going to be really useful? Like, I just don't know uh, what one to pick. But he's fine. We'll just hope that he does come out, you know, pretty good. Because uh, my current two sons are not great whatsoever. So when I hear raised voices, uh, I quench... What does that mean? No, it's not. They're just these two arguing, right? Yeah. Try and make sense of things? Uh, sure. And we did manage to make th sense of things. Getting a bit of prestige. Perfect. So let's go just do a quick war in the north for that one bit of province against Albia. Oh, yeah, they do have allies. They have more allies now. We don't have many allies. I think it'll be fine, though. We can always just buy some mercenaries. But let's do it. We can always just buy some mercenaries if we need to. Let's raise other boys up here. I might actually just... Because they're, they're going to probably also... Wait for our allies to show up. And we can probably smash their army before they can. Yeah, they're going to form up here. I mean, this is not a great real place to, to attack. We're going to have to go... We're going to try and cross that? Perfect. Yeah, now they're fleeing. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch that, unfortunately. I need to try and make it across as best as I can. Yeah, they're going to escape, which is fine. I will probably chase them. Yeah, I don't really want to cross it. I like, could go across Hadrian's Wall. And these are mountains. Apparently, we're going to get slaughtered here. We have more soldiers, and they're apparently way better. Our commanders are trash as well. We do not have good fighters. Like, our champions are awful. I guess he will lead the men, though. Yeah, I mean, luckily our men should really aid us, but maybe let's pick up some mercenaries as well and see if we can get them into a fight. Oh, we can also have this as well now. I should have got... So definitely we're going to get an extra Onager. We're going to get an Onager Regiment of Renown. Just Regiment of Renown? I can't remember if there's a Warhammer. And there's always no mercenaries available. Uh, let's just pick up, there's literally like no mercenaries available. Uh, let's pick up these guys. They're in our capital, god damn it. You guys are not going to arrive in time. But start heading north nonetheless. We can always buy more if we need to. Because the nice thing is you don't end up paying, uh, paying to keep the mercenaries. You just pay out one up cost and you're, you're pretty good. How are we looking so far? I mean, we just rolled a 10 against them. Yeah, even though they're, they're doing way more damage to us, we just our numbers are proving uh, pretty, pretty decisive. Perfect. So let's see how that battle did turn out. So we lost 1,600, made off 1,700. So we killed a little bit more, which is fine. How did our knights do? Our one, oh my god, one of our knights killed 131 men. A lot of our knights killed 60, though. Imagine killing 60 and we killed two of their knights as well. It was pretty good. Oh, we need a spy master. Sure. In you go. Pax man should give us a bit more money. Oh, we also have some culture somewhere. Oh, over here. Let's convert that culture ASAP. Um, again, we're fighting another battle against someone. Either way, we will bring them down, giving us way more prestige as well, which is good. Our quality of our men, though, is atrocious. We have smashed most of our army, so it shouldn't really be too bad. Uh, so obviously we need to make sure that we siege the, uh, the region we want. We have 4,000 men back already. It's crazy. We just won like a pretty decisive battle against them, I would say. And we're already up to full strength again. Also, we just inherited another... Just inherited this again. Let's uh, give that off to someone. There we go. We have last night, we have 7,000 men. Where's the castle? Oh, the castle's there. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go chase our army again. Uh, what do I want to focus on? Uh, realm economy, spy network, military theory, military theory. Let's do that. 
should be able to catch him here. We're crossing the river, which is unfortunate. That's going to be a big big debuff to our stats. But again, we outnumber them heavily. I mean, we're going to be slowly winning, but taking heavy casualties. Witchcraft. We will. Uh, we will prove that she is not a witch. We'll, you know, we'll throw her into a lake tied up, and if she escapes, and she is, she is no longer a witch, or she was never a witch. Yeah, I mean, we're winning all these, these pretty decisive battles, and that one we managed to kill 1,100 of them. We obviously just need the war target unlocked. He has 17 marshal as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, short way. Yeah, they still just have 3,000 men. Like, we, we're just not killing them. We need someone who has, like, aggressive attacker. Ooh, that's much better now. He's much better. He's a good siege leader, and he also takes less casualties as well, which is pretty huge. So we've taken a war goal now, which is helpful. I guess we'll push across. We'll be able to catch these guys if they try and retreat as well. And, yeah, their color's quality is trash. So we managed to do way loads of damage in that initial engagement. Mercenaries are paying for themselves. And we now start to push them back. Because if we, if we take this castle and this castle, they won't be able to run through. They will be able to run through. Uh, but they'll take casualties running through. So what we should probably do is split our men. Uh, send 3,000 across the river to siege this castle. And leave 3,000 here. We're going to take 176 from attrition. But we basically block from here. Uh, they're going to move in there. Will we have to take this beforehand? Don't know if we'll be able to take both though. Uh, we should be able to take both beforehand and then go and scare them off. The war is basically won already as well. My son comes of age, Prince Andrew. He's awful. And he's my heir. I mean, I'm probably going to change succession. Though I think I've decided I'll, I'll probably change the Anglo-Sax uh, elective. Which is pretty scary because it basically means there's a good chance that I could lose complete control of my, my, uh, my kingdom. But, you know, we'll go for it. Okay, we've taken that. Perfect. We'll hopefully take this as well. This will actually give us enough war score to end the war, so we don't have to worry about killing that. As long as he wins in time, don't you dare lose a war goal. Perfect. Make sure we pause it so we don't get on siege. Boom, 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 boom. And we still have the access to our mercenaries if we, if we need them for other wars, which I don't think we desperately do need, but... Either way, nice. England is basically looking completely under our control. Uh, there's a minor little war going on there. Another crusade for Jerusalem. I might redirect it again, honestly. To somewhere where oh, West Francia has taken back its land as well. Perfect. Uh, I, I might... I'll probably see who gets involved and then redirect it. Uh, my cousin, sure. He can be my... Does he have children? He doesn't have children. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Probably not him then. I need to find someone who, uh, you know, is married not much longer and uh, isn't really bad. His Frankie has formed up quite nicely as well. Raffle. So, uh, oh, he's currently Craven as well. God damn it. We'll keep Raffle. Why do you have to be Craven, Matthew? God damn it. And you're my one son I actually actually wanted. No, it's this son who I wanted? Andrew, yeah? Who's arbitrary as well. God, all my sons are trash. They really are not good. God damn it. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, going to going to the elective... The elective anglo sax style is just scary. Uh, I didn't need the money, but sure. It just really is, like, ultra scary. My sister can get married. Uh, you, are you are a genius. Let's try and get some more traits in the family. Marry Matchlinley. Could marry her to my son. She is 40 years old, though. It's probably not right. On this time. Uh, sure, let's try and have some good offspring. Uh, yeah, let's mint the coins. You don't need more money. My son and heir can marry, which we'll do at some point. Yeah, it's just Andrew as well. Cool. This is my sons. I'll deal with that in a bit once we've kind of figured out who's going to be our heir. Because honestly, I don't know. And I hate having to disinherit because it just loses you so much renown. Which is obviously so goddamn good to keep on pumping this up. Uh, the, sooner, the more you do, the, the, the way you know, you just get so much better stuff. Carlings are back on top as well. And they're, they're probably basically at this uh, next level as well down this route. Even though this is probably one of the worst uh, routes to go down. Really is not that great. <laughs> That's literally probably the worst one they could have picked. All the other ones would have been way beneficial. My wife is pregnant. Don't give me another son. Give me a daughter I can marry off. Please. I need it. I need it badly. 
Crusade. Oh, I forgot to change it as well. Well, Jerusalem it is. How outnumbered are we? Oh, we actually do have the advantage. I guess we will be, we'll be going on to uh, Crusade, I guess. In the hopes that we can win. So I guess I will assemble the men and we will be going. Also, I've never seen this uh, calm stay together um, this long as well. We've been playing for over uh, almost 100 years now. This Khan has done a great job. Like, there's some... Like, this is the most I've seen the world come together. For sure. Like, these guys are broken up in Spain a bit now, but nothing massively. The Abbasids are looking scary. The Byzantines are looking scary. And so is this Khan out here as well. Pretty pretty crazy stuff. And we're, we're doing our thing, you know. Slowly but surely, we're gaining more of English territory. I do need to go to war for the last of these lands. Could probably be two wars, probably. Bit by bit, we'll take these uh, both... Uh, De Jura claims. Yeah, we'll take these last two and then that's the whole of England secure. We push back the uh, Scottish back beyond the wall, uh, which is nice. And we just have to focus on why is Cornwall independent? Oh, no, he's not really good. He's just doing the same thing right now. Uh, yeah, then we just have to try and either focus on. Then we just need to try and either focus on going for Ireland, which could probably be pretty easy, even though Nogorod randomly holds a piece of Ireland, uh, or and a piece of Scotland, or we just blitz Scotland. Uh, I'm not too sure quite what we do. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll probably send, because our spy, our, our Archbishop is amazing. After we've managed to convert them up in the north, we probably will send him, uh, yeah, we'll probably send him, and, oh god, he's already the Duchess of Mercia. God, King of Mercia has already, or, or Duke of Mercia has already died. Now she's 16. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully she'll like us. Um, yeah, then I guess we could just send our, our Duke to go and start claiming some land from the Scottish. And we'll just start moving up there. That's probably going to be the quickest way of doing things. Um, because now we... How many? How much land do we need now? Yeah, we've got 40 out of 76. There's so still way more. Whole of Scotland and probably half of Ireland to form it. And then we can just press the Jura claims. That's pretty good. Also, we are pumping through... Uh, tech now we have 21 learning so we we do learn this stuff very quickly we are getting kind of old we are we are 44 so we're gonna have to decide probably pretty quickly on whether or not we do want to go down um whether or not we do want to uh go change the uh the succession which i'm probably gonna do uh probably gonna change the succession and then when this son comes of age probably my other sons are pretty trash like He's Raffle, but he's Craven, which is just uh, the worst trait you can get. He's okay, but still pretty bad. This son has really good intrigue, which is nice. I mean, our other son is Rowdy, which is probably the best one because it's intrigue and martial. But he's only intelligent, so he doesn't have both the traits. So probably just this guy, uh, and then we'll marry him to like a genius. We'll marry him to a genius, and. Yeah, kind of go from there, I guess. Yeah, marry him to a genius. Hope we get Herculean and then upgrade intelligence up as well. Uh, so yeah, that's, I think that's the plan. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll, we'll probably take the majority of Scotland next episode. Uh, we'll also go on Crusade. So we'll go on Crusade whilst our, our bishop is trying to fabricate duchy claims. And uh, yeah, whilst we're on Crusade, hopefully we don't get slaughtered. Again, who joined? Anyone anyone great join us or is it just still all, all absolute crappers? Yeah, like look at that. This is it's like what the hell's going on? You know, come on, like more people can join this bloody crusade than just like a couple dukes. It's kind of it annoys me, it really does. I know you guys probably tell because I'm complaining. Uh, we will also get to Paragon of Virtue, hopefully in this crusade, so we can then found that holy order, uh, which will be nice. Yeah, founding the holy order. Oh, we actually have it. Okay, cool. We'll just need a pope to like us. Um, does he send him a gift? I guess we'll just sway him. And then we can just form that. Oh, he really does not want to be swayed. Well, he... Ch oh, God, perfect. We'll just send him 300 gold. We have so much. Boom. And we can found that Holy Order now? Can we not? Can we change the headquarters to somewhere? A barony somewhere? Uh, yeah, sure. Just for barony here. Select. We can't because we're at war. Okay, well, we're at war and we don't have enough party anyway. But we'll do that after. We'll get enough party from this crusade. And then we'll form we'll form a holy order. The Knights Templar will rise. We can then use them, I think, against are you guys. No, you're insular, so you're fine. Uh, yeah, then we'll use them in our in our future crusades, our future battles against the Abbasids and anyone else. I really do want to try and start taking back way more of Spain, though. Uh, you know, keeping that nice little stronghold uh, would be nice. And obviously also Brittany as well. Taking Brittany would be a great way to boost up our renown every month. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.